Hi friends, it's Steph. So I'm here today, um, as you can see I've got the um, flooring finished for the um, general store. And as I've sat and looked back at this, um, I've kept it across the room from me. And every time I came down to the studio, I looked at it and I've decided that the gaps that we see here, they really aren't as noticeable um, when you're looking at it not up close. So what I decided to do is this nicer finish that I got with the original um, popsicle sticks. I am going to use that for the front of the general store and the little bit messier parts that have a lot of gaps I'm going to use for the back of the store. So a lot of that will be covered up with cabinets, um, the wood stove, all of that stuff. So I'm not going to stress over this anymore. I, I'm going to call it done. Um, I will say using the carpet tape y'all has been amazing. I have not had to wait for glue to dry. If I had sat and just done this all at one time, um, you know, as I did it, I did it in a um, couple of weeks because I just worked on it a few times um, throughout those couple of weeks. But this easily could have been done in an hour. No dry time, no warping, no nothing. So I highly, highly recommend this carpet tape um, for your miniatures, especially when you're doing flooring, um, siding, anything like that. Um, I actually ordered three more rolls of it so that I don't run out um, because it is fabulous. So let me get this out of the way and ta-da! We have walls. Um, this is one wall. Oh, I set the other one over here. Sorry. So what I did is I did, um, it looks kind of messy, but I was going for like a wash kind of paint job. Um, what I did, I just mixed um, this brown paint and white paint. Um, I used a lot of white paint, a little dollop of brown paint. Mix those together and um, came up with this color and I really like it. I think it'll work well. There are going to be things hanging on the wall. There's going to be a window in the wall. So I think it's going to work out fine. So I liked how this looked. Um, this was the look I was going for. So I'm calling that good. So what I did, you know, we have these windows that we did get from Timu. Um, I believe they were $3 a piece, if I recall correctly. Um, this one looks like it's coming out of the thing a little bit. I don't know. Um, so all we have to do is decide where we're going to have the windows. And I will show you. So I have a clean cut edge. And then cutting this is kind of messy, y'all, even with my... Um, utility knife. Um, it's been kind of messy. Um, it, it doesn't even seem to matter how careful I am with it. It still does this. So um, this is going to be the back. I'm going to butt up the back wall to this so you won't be able to see this. And then once it's all finished, I am going to cut cardstock to cover up all these raw edges. So we don't have to worry about seeing that or looking at it, but it just is kind of a pain and it annoys me. Um, I do have a little bit of warping. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera or not, but that should be um, alleviated when I do a little bit of paint on this back side too. Um, from what I've read is whatever you do to one side, do to the other side and it will kind of even itself out. Um, that is the drawback to using this foam core board or even cardboard sometimes because it does warp very easily. Obviously with water-based paints, even though I used the paints pretty dry, I didn't dip my paintbrush in water or anything um, and it still just it warped just ever so slightly. But I am going to try to fix that. Um, if I can't get it fixed, I don't think it's going to be that noticeable. All right, so on here, this is where I decided I wanted the window. So what I did is I laid this on here. I traced around the inside edge of that on where to cut, and I cut it out. And you can see it, again, is a little bit messy. But when I put the window in, it covers up all of that. Now, I did discover, as I did this, that the sashing that comes with these windows, it's not exactly enough to cover the whole window, so I'm not sure what the purpose of that was supposed to be. But as I thought through it, um, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and glue it on as is. And then if you notice, when I go through and put the... Um, 
wood on the sides for like the shiplap, this will line up with everything. And so I don't think it'll be noticeable that these were shorter than the window. Does that kind of make sense? So I'm going to use my super glue. No, I think I'll use my tacky glue. Y'all know this is one of my favorites. I'm so sorry about this lighting. Um, I am going to be moving my studio over to another part of my room that has a better light in it. And hopefully that will help to alleviate some of the lighting issues because it is really driving me crazy. And I'm sure y'all don't like watching dark videos. Now this will serve two purposes. It will glue the window sashing in to this so that it doesn't come out. Although I don't, I'm not too worried about that because um, this is just going to be sitting, you know, on a shelf once it's done. So nobody's going to be messing with it enough for windows to fall out. Um, but let me line those up pretty good there. I'm um, sorry about my phone dinging. Let me turn that off. All right, I forgot to do that before I sat down. While I'm gluing this, let me talk to y'all a little bit about something. So I've noticed a few things. Y'all know I love Timu. I know a lot of you love Timu, but I'm going to tell y'all, Timu's prices are rising. And sometimes I am able to get the same items on Amazon or maybe even Walmart. I haven't checked Walmart. I mostly check Amazon because y'all know I live rural. So a lot of things that I get, I do purchase and have shipped to me. It's just easier. And um, I've just noticed that Timu's prices just keep going up and up. And I bought um, some kitchen organizers. And I at first I paid about $17 for them on Timu. And then Amazon had them for $23. But then when I go back to look at Timu, they have gone up even higher in price to where they're like $25. So I want to show y'all a little trick on Timu. Um, I saw one thing, and some of these, um, you know, they're online sellers. It's a like a mall and there'll be like different sellers for everything so one thing so if you wanted to like say we were looking at this little drawer set and I wanted to see so this is $58 and I want to see where else can I get this for a better price so if I click on the picture notice up here in the corner of this little camera I can click on that and it shows me several other sellers that have it. Now see, this $58 is a pretty good deal because down here it's $74, it's $67, um, $74 there, and then it, that, then it gives you some other options that are similar to that. So it would seem that um, $58 um, cost is better. Um, I had looked at, you know, I'm trying to do a little mail section on in the general store and so I thought, well, let me see if I can find a piece of that kind of furniture that you can hang on the wall where they would have mail slots and stuff. So the first time I found it, it was like $7. And I was like, oh, I don't want to spend $7 right now. So I didn't buy it, and I just left it in my cart. Y'all, when I went back to it, it was up to $18 in my cart. I'm like, mm, no, I can make that. Um, I'm not going to spend $18 on it. Okay. So always watch your prices, double check them. When they're in your cart for a long time, sometimes they will go down in price, um, but always comparative shop because not only on Amazon can you get it quicker, but if you can get it for the same price and it's something you might need right away instead of having to wait the eight to 10 days that Timu takes to ship, um, maybe it's a better deal for you. So just make sure that you're comparative shopping. Um, I know that when Timu first started out, everything was so inexpensive and it just is not anymore. So here's one window. How does that look? I think it looks fabulous. Um, after this dries, it does come with the plexiglass as well. I probably will not put this in until the very end um, once I've got the walls up and everything. Um, I'm ready to get these walls up so that we can um, start making stuff for inside the store. So um, I know this is a short video. I got one done. I'll get the other one done. And I'm thinking 
with the back wall, I think I'm going to use one of my doors and actually put a door on the back wall. Um, because I would think they would need somewhere, you know, like to deliver stuff and everything. Um, and so maybe they would do that through the back. I don't know. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I've been um, toying with that idea. So I think on the back wall, um, I'll have that um, put in. So here's what my plan is. I'm going to get these done um, tonight and tomorrow. And then I'll probably do another video and we'll go ahead and put the walls up and we can see um, what the store looks like. Um, I do need to determine what am I going to do with the front of the store. I was thinking about putting two little partial walls um, so that it's like a doorway um, and then you can see in and maybe windows there too. I just haven't decided yet. Um, so let me toy with that a little bit more. I'll get these walls completed. Um, and then I'll get up another video and we'll have the whole store put together, um, our little room box, because that's eventually what we're going to have. We're going to have a room box and it's just going to happen that in this room box, we're going to have a general store. So um, as soon as I get that done, I'll make a new video and show you all the finished piece. And then we will start either making the things that we need, because obviously I'm going to have to make a mail um, service box and all the other things, some counters, um, shelving for the walls and everything. Um, and we'll start filling this room up. So um, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Um, and I will see you soon.